I have before me a creature that has struck fear into the hearts of humanity for thousands of years with just a single howl. A, a creature whose bite and claws are so ferocious that they could instill severe injuries or even die. What is this, you may ask? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what went wrong either. Hello, Exolot. How do you do? First of all, quick update. New glasses. I think they make me look a lot smarter. So I think everyone here knows that I'm a dog person, which is why I have this thing. And although I present myself as a deity with zero weaknesses, I am just like you all, but better. I am humble. I have fears, specifically of dangerous stuff like murder, death, torture, cats. I don't understand why people look at me like I've just unzipped my bodysuit to reveal that I am actually Satan himself underneath whenever I say that. Now because I am not the devil reincarnated, I don't hate cats. I just stare at them from a far distance away if they're not a small kitten. Now I thought that was a common thing. Like I assume most people share that sentiment. Wow, you are really fat. I'm gonna put you down. But apparently not because cat people ratio dog people on my Instagram poll by a landslide. When I was at Taiwan, my mom signed us up to go to the cat village there, which I was actually really excited about. It was time to see if long-term exposure to many cats at the time would cure this fear of mine. I went to lie down on my bed for like a minute. What the fuck happened to my hair? I look like a bird in mating season trying to impress a lady. Maybe it's to prepare myself for the cats who are, you know, like they can look at my hair and assume it's been one of their kind. Like an uglier kind. So after that alpha male podcast, I went to bed and got prepared the next morning. This was my fit to travel around. I got the denim vest from a little store in Taiwan. It was giving fashion, it was giving blue jeans, it was giving can. I think I just find cats a bit scary looking because of their pupils when it's a slit and how they look like they're frowning constantly. Maybe I'm just too used to how my dog is shaped. Huh? In no way does Abby look intimidating at all. She literally looks like a cotton ball with raisins stuck onto it. Thoughts? Even the dumbest looking cats still have an aura of intimidation and sophistication to them. Meanwhile, I think people are trying to find new ways to make dogs look as dumb as possible. Have you seen the new genre of dogs in Japan? We arrived at about 10am in the morning and I was half expecting the cats to swarm the land. So I was a bit disappointed when we haven't seen any yet. Anyways, after a bit of walking on the pathway, I began to notice the cat symbols. If I ever die guys, hmm? If. When I ever die guys, I wanna be reincarnated into a cat and live here because it's so peaceful. We finally spotted our first cat a few walks in who was already basking in the attention of other visitors. Then I saw another one on the pathway. And due to my lack of interaction with cats regularly, I greeted it with the same energy some weird man with a white van at the park would trying to lure in children. Hi. Hello. Now usually when I approach cats, I like to sit a distance away to give it the option of approaching me. And it never works. I would assume that they're just too lazy to get up and walk over to me. But no, uh, they do get up. They just walk the other way. So that hurt my ego too, I guess. But I took that chance again and I sat down in front of this cat. And the most miraculous thing happened. It came towards me. I wasn't excited at all. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> you can hear my mom's shocked reaction. I think she was more baffled that this cat actually seemed to like me than when I came out to her. It, <laughs> it came to me. It wanted me to pet it. Sorry, Abby. You're just a dog. This is a cat. 
it's more special. I love it so much. I think I almost cried. I'm tearing up right now. Cat number two did not approach me when I knelt down. I think it was too busy trying to dismantle the foundation of the shed and kill everyone inside it. I could not be more proud. I understand now, guys. I understand cat people now. I see the light. <laughs> If you hear weird meowing in the background, that is not a cat that swallowed the squeak toy. That is in fact my grandmother trying to communicate with them. The next cat was set outside a souvenir shop acting like it owned the place. And for all we know, it probably did. The most ironic thing however is that the majority of keychains displayed outside were of dogs. Now that was very funny to me. I kept talking about how ridiculous that was until my dad found a dog keychain with my birthday on it. Suddenly it stopped being funny. Now it was a really serious good luck charm. LGTV. I think the wildest thing about experiencing cats as a dog owner is watching how agile they are. Uh, no wait, maybe I should be more specific because there are tons of agile dogs out there. Uh, experiencing cats as an Abbey owner is kind of wild. Look at it, just trotting along the roof. All of us had to pause what we were doing just to ogle at it. She can't even go up the stairs, watch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gonna... Yeah, yes, yeah, because you built like a submarine. On that note, can I just say... Cats are so fat. I like how as a collective, most of us, I'd hope, are against body shaming. Body shaming is bad. We should not body shame anyone. Body shaming animals, on the other hand, the most vile, affectionate insults always just seem to manifest out of thin air in my head whenever I see a rounded animal. So we went to get some trees that were being sold nearby and this cat knows what's up. It's got its location parked right next to the good food. I got this packet of mush that I wasn't really familiar with on how to offer it. Do I squeeze it on the floor or do I let the cats lick it like a popsicle? In the end, I chose squeezing because I was honestly afraid it was gonna turn my fingers into Swiss cheese. Afterwards, I saw this absolutely massive creature. Body shaming is bad. We should not body shame anyone. Convex shape, obtuse shape, Blue shape. Bro isn't in the cat village. Bro is the cat village. Blood looks like a waterbed with limbs attached. I knew it was bad when I reviewed the footage back and my whole family just took turns insulting it. I gave it some food to thank it for its existence from my temporary amusement. And we went back to the cat from the souvenir shop since it had just been snoozing the whole time we were there before. I thought the scent of food would make it more active. Meanwhile, my grandpa tried to poke it with his cane to make it wake up. <laughs> Did it wake up for the food? Yes. Did it move? No. No, it stayed in the exact same position, just craning its head. I had to feed that little shit. Like those cartoons where the rich lies on a sofa bed and the servant drops grapes in their mouth. God, I wish I was a cat. Eventually, the old man here got up and ate in a way that wouldn't give him scoliosis. Yeah, I just gave the cat he him pronoun. That way, the insults feel more personal. And it was another great day of saving the cats from a fitness routine. Afterwards, we went upstairs where we were greeted by cat balls. 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 Ball. <laughs> the view there was really nice and we discovered this wooden bridge that stretched to another area, as well as cat food just placed randomly. No wonder the cats here look like they had their own gravitational pull. Observe! What the hell? It's so fluffy. It's so fat. I genuinely am in love with this cat. His name is Mr. Fat Fat. I'm so impressed whenever a cat does something, guys. I had no idea how deprived I was of cat habits until now. He is huge, mind you. I always thought cats were pretty small, but a majority of the fluffier cats I've seen here are absolutely massive. Like, they are bigger than Abby. They could eat her if they wanted to. They could eat you, girl! 
This guy was pretty polite looking. He ignored me until he realized there was something in it for him, which is just about how most of my situationships go. I also think that the cats here have been verbally abused for far too long. Because when I called it fat fuck, it turned around and responded as if that was its name. I feel like this cat in particular is just a human in a suit though, because I could negotiate with it in Chinese for me to pet him. Mm. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> After a while of feeding him though, the cat just moved over and sat facing the other direction. Naturally, I obliged his request. Okay, bye, <laughs> Way to make Mr. Fat Fat feel insecure, mom. Have some sensitivity for Mr. Fat Fat. <laughs> this one, I called him Mr. Uwe because he looks super wise. He looks like he crawled out of an animated movie about Chinese kung fu fighter animals. Bro looks like he's got some ancient wisdom to share with me once I feed him enough paste. Eventually, we were left to find the other planet-sized fellas. <laughs> Honestly, this next cat seemed like it was having 20 existential crises at the same time, so I left it alone. Next up, I present to you a visual representation of my desire to find a stable relationship versus reality. What? <laughs> this guy was not interested in me at all. He looked at me as if I had just eaten his infant in front of him. I really liked the surroundings also. The village was right next to a train station and this whole scene looked like it could be in a Studio Ghibli film. Oh. Paw print steps for the cats. I can't do this. I'm so emotional because cats exist. Anyways, look at this fat fuck. I dub his name Stinky. I interrupted his little ball licking session, my bad, and in return got a huge jump scare which set back my fear of cats by 40%. Oh, 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 yeah, this guy was much more into food than the others. Brother was acting like he hadn't seen nutrition in the last five years. Damn, However, I implemented the feed and pet technique in order for this fair transaction to work out. And all was going great until I had almost no food left to give. So I went to another cat. I called this one the Mona Lisa because he was just lying on this frame like some magnificent work of art while I was appreciating this creature of light. You'll have no idea who jumped in. Stinky? He was not satisfied. No, he wanted more from me. I think he wanted to eat me. And we didn't film this, but just when I was about done feeding him, Stinky pounced on me and like bit my finger. It didn't pierce through my skin, thankfully. Fully, but my god, I could feel my heart leap into my throat. I had to swallow that shit back down. Stinky has single-handedly brought back my fear of cats, but the overall experience also increased my love for cats by like 80%, so it's good. I still had one more packet of paste left and we had to leave, so my mom told me I should just dump it all down for the first cat that came to me, not for food, but for love. And I thought that was poetic. I went back to the site where we first met. However, I couldn't find any trace of him left. Probably cause this white fucker ate him. Bro was voluptuous. Bro looked like he could win first prize at the pumpkin weighing contest. He looked like he would start deflating and flying around the room comically like a balloon. I think he single-handedly caused a great famine. My mom was providing commentary on the cat as if she was working for the Our Planet documentary. Eventually, we had to leave though, so that was the end of the cat village experience. Bye bye, fat ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The conclusion that I have for this is that if I were to put Abby in a fight against any one of those cats, they would definitely KO her. Cats are indeed far more superior. But can a cat do this? Abby, high five! 
Exactly! Cats are smarter than that. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If any of you bought my YouTube plushie, you should be seeing them shipped by now. And if you did receive it, please do tag me in your stories. I would love to see them. I'm still a dog person, I just have a new profound endearment for cats now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! You wanna punch them maybe? Dog punched. Huh.